Hi, I'm Kai with Lure of the North, and this is video one of three, making your own traditional winter moccasins. I've got two pairs of socks on, and I've got my boot liners on, and I'm going to measure around the widest part of my foot. So, I'm going to oops, see what that gives me. So I measured my foot at 12 and a half inches, and if I look on the measuring uh, sizing chart, I only see the closest one is 12 and 5 eighths. So that would give me a measurement of a size 3 vamp and a size 4 sole. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm a little bit under that, I'm just going to cut on the inside of the size 4 uh, sole. So if you ever get a measurement that you're not bang on the number that it says here, just look at the closest one and either cut on the inside or just on the outside of, of the, the line. Before you cut your pattern piece, you want to make sure that you inspect both, both sides of your hide. Um, so what may look perfect on this side, you might turn it over and see that there's a thin spot somewhere. So make sure that you are inspecting it. And that means pulling, pulling the hide running your fingers over making sure there's not a thin spot so right there on this side it looks fine but actually when you feel it you realize oh there's actually a blade mark there and so when I'm placing my pattern piece you're going to want to avoid that so you inspect it give it a good stretch look for any sort of imperfections that you want to avoid and then place your pattern piece on the hide and you want to place your pattern piece on the opposite side or the inside of your moccasin because you will be making marks. So usually I have the grain side or hair side of the moccasin on the outside. So I'm going to trace my moccasin on the um, inside of the hide. So I've got my patterns cut out now and I just want to make sure that the there's adequate length. We know that there's adequate width because that's what we measured. But what I'm going to do is place my boot liner on the pattern at the very top and make sure that there's at least three inches at the back. Okay, it's reading about two and a half inches. So what I'm actually going to do is extend my pattern when I'm cutting it out to three inches. So when I'm tracing my pattern, I'm just going to follow the line back until it's about three inches. And that just ensures that when you pucker all of your toes, um, then when the fabric moves up or the hide moves up, you're going to have enough room to size the heel. We're going to have to trim some off anyways, but just to make sure, um, you're gonna, going to lengthen it if you need to. So I've got my two patterns now. I'm going to trace them out. And if you can see, there is three tick marks on each the vamp piece and the sole piece. There's three ticks. Okay, and when you're tracing out your hide, you're going to extend those tick lines just beyond and then when you take your pattern off, you're going to transfer those tick marks with pen, not scissors, into the pattern and that's where you're going to tack your vamp to your sole. Like that. Okay, so I've got my pattern pieces all traced out. And just a reminder, I extended the pattern piece um, because I didn't quite have three inches, so I extended it um, just back about a half an inch, but I didn't extend the vamp piece. These small pieces, you don't have to worry about them and their length. And um, just making sure that before I cut, I'm going to double check where I trace my pattern and make sure there's no thin spots where I've cut my piece because once you cut your piece if you find out that there's a thin spot then you know you're gonna have to either sew a patch on or um, get a new piece of hide so we don't want that so I've checked for thin spots I've extended my pattern piece I've transferred the ticks on either end um, on all four pieces and I'm ready to cut Okay, I've got all four pieces cut out and I am ready to start. We're going to start with the basics and we're going to make ourselves a cute little thimble. 
And if you need to learn how to make a thimble, please check out our basics video on sewing and how to make a thimble. So you're going to start with an arm length of, of sinew, and this sinew breaks into four individual strands. There you go, focus. Okay, and we're going to use two of the four strands. And if they're not coming apart nicely, then you're grabbing at the wrong bit of the strand. Okay, so I'm going to start and put a knot in my thread. Now I've got a short end and a long end. I'm going to bring the long end over top. This is real quick. Spin it around the needle towards the tip. Bunch it all down. Slide it off the eye of the needle. And keep pinching, keep pinching, keep pinching. Don't give up all the way to the bottom. And you should have a little knot. Hurrah! Okay, and then I'm going to grab one piece one sole and one vamp and we're going to line up our needle at that tick mark put it through right at the edge about one eighth of an inch in pull it through okay and then line it up so that the outside of your moccasin is visible on the top and the inside of your moccasin is visible on the sole. Line up those two tick marks, join them together, and pull tight. Okay, and now we're just doing a temporary tack. We'll go through three times once. Oh, that's twice, sorry. And one more time. Before you pull all the way tight, you leave that little loop, and then you're going to throw your needle through once, and twice. Pull tight, and you're going to trim that off. So now you've got one part tacked, and now we're going to join the other side. Once, twice, Third time, go through the loop once, twice, pull tight, and snip off. And you don't have to leave a long tail, just eighth of an inch. You don't have to worry about this too, too much because it's just temporary. But now, you already look like you have a moccasin in the start. You could put it around and walk around make trip on it, but uh, we're getting there. <laughs>